So let's start the creation of our web workflow. And we're gonna be using GitHub in order to save our work. But if you don't have a GitHub account, you don't have to worry. I'm gonna click here on the plus sign and you can see that we have this menu. We have four different options. We have new repo, import a repository, a new gist and a new organization. We're gonna select the first one, new repository, and I'm gonna click here. Here I'm gonna give a name. I'm gonna call this one workflow. And here in the description, I'm going to add my web workflow with npm, sas, gulp, and more. And here is workflow. Then I'm using the, the free version of GitHub. So all my repositories are public. If you decide that you want to, to make your repositories private, you have to, to pay. So I'm going to be using the free version. Next, I'm going to initialize with a readme and I'm going to create the repo. So you can see we have something like this. This is the description. And here on the top is the URL for this repository. And we have this information. So here on the right, we have this green button that says clone or download. So you can copy this, copy. And now I'm going to open the terminal. I'm going to open the terminal. We're going to be using the terminal a lot in this course. So I'm going to make the font bigger. And I'm going to CD into the desktop. And from here, I'm going to add git clone. And I'm going to paste this URL that I have copied from this green button. And I'm going to hit enter. And you can see it's cloning workflow. Next, I'm going to CD into workflow. And from here, you can add JIT in it. And you can see we already have a JIT repository file. That's fine. Next, I'm going to open the workflow folder into my editor. I'm going to be using Atom for the rest of the course. And at the moment, you can see we only have this JIT folder with a lot of different content and the readme this contains the name of the project and also the description which are right here next we need to create a file called the package.json and that file contains all the dependencies or the, that file will contain all the dependencies for this project and the easiest way to create the package.json is to use the command npm in it. I'm going to clear this and I'm going to add git npm in it. And this is asking us for the name. I'm going to uh, add workflow. The version 1.0.0 is fine. The description, we can copy this description and paste right here. The entry point, I'm going to set this empty. Test command empty also. And you can see that we have the git repository right here. Enter keywords. I'm gonna add le sas npm git gulp something like that. The author you can add your name. The license I'm gonna let this empty. And now you can see that we have all the information that we have submitted. And it's asking us if everything is fine. I'm gonna add yes. And you can see that is the package that JSON file is created with all this information so this file will contain all the dependencies for example if you install gulp or gulp sas this file will contain all the dependencies and this is the file that you are gonna share with your group so everyone will have the same dependencies in the project and everyone will work with the same versions for the, the different packages that we're gonna install. So in the next video, we're gonna start working with Gulp. We're gonna install Gulp, Gulp uh, here, and we're gonna create our first task using Gulp. So see you in the next video.